Hey there, welcome back to Hacker. Today's video is super exciting and important if you're a second year and third year student looking for internship opportunities or wondering how to land job referrals. I'm going to guide you through how to find internships using platforms like Internshala and how to use LinkedIn and other platforms to get those golden referrals. Plus, I'll share you some tips on what CGPA to maintain, whether internships are mandatory and how mastering DSA can set you apart. So whether you're aiming for internship or job, I got you covered, let's dive in. So first things first, let's talk about Internshala. This is the most popular platforms for students to find internships, especially if you're starting out in your second year or third year. So here is what you can do to make the most out of it. So firstly, create a detailed profile. So I just created some dummy profile for my case here. So let's go to resume and edit it. So make sure to fill out everything from your skills, education and experience. Even if it's a smaller project or an extra cultural activity, recruiters would love to see a complete profile. And next thing, you have to search for the relevant opportunities. So let's go to home here in Intenshala. And then here you can see the internships. So here you can search for internships in Bangalore, Delhi, Hyderabad, whatever. And top category is engineering internships. So basically here you can prefer what category you want and then search for the internship. And here you can filter based on the stipend as well. So you're getting a paid internship. It's not just like you paying and for internship. Is that you get paid for the internship, okay? So make sure to apply for multiple internships. Don't hesitate to apply for multiple positions. Sometimes you need to apply for 10 to 15 internships to land one offer. And bonus tip, make sure to craft a compelling cover letter. Write briefly about why you are passionate about the role and what skills you bring to the table. And also how you can contribute to the organization. These are very much important, okay? So guys, this is not just for internships. You can even find the jobs over here. So here you have the top locations, what are your location preferences, and then the top categories, pressure jobs, marketing jobs, and computer science jobs. So you can click on computer science jobs. So they have some promotions, of course, here. And then you can see the job office here. So here they're hiring for full stack developer and they specified the range of the pay as well. So here, that's what like you can utilize this platform to getting internships and jobs as well. So based on your interests and based on the annual salary you want, you can actually filter the roles you have here. Okay. So make sure to utilize most out of this platform. So now let's move on to LinkedIn where you can not only build your professional network, but also land your amazing job referrals. This can be a game changer, especially if you're aiming for top companies. So step one is to optimize your LinkedIn profile, just like Intenshala have your LinkedIn profile polished, add a professional photo and an eye-catching headline and a well-written summary that highlights your skills and career goals. And then start building your network. So here you have my network tab, right? So then you can go here and start following the people you want and you can even connect to the people if you'd like to. Firstly, begin with connecting with alumni from your college if you're working in your desired company. This can be a great starting point for networking. And step three is to request the referrals right away. So once you've built a good rapport with someone, it's time to request a referral. Don't just send a generic message, personalize it and mention why you're interested in the company and how the referral would make a difference. Bonus tip, make sure to always send a thank you note for after someone helps you. Keep the relationship strong so it can help you in the long run. So apart from Internshala and LinkedIn, there are many other platforms you can use to find internships and job referrals. So first is AngelList. So this is a great place to find a startup internship, especially in tech roles. So another job portal with many companies post internship opportunities is knockit.com. For tech related roles, contributing to open source projects and GitHub can lead to internship offers. And also it looks amazing on your resume. And use Glassdoor to research companies and find networking opportunities. So here you can find the salaries and interview questions. So try building your networking using all these platforms. Now let's talk about CGPA. Many students ask if maintaining a high CGPA is important. Well, here's the answer. A CGPA above seven is generally good, but aiming for above eight can make difference since companies filter candidates based on CGPA when shortlisting for internships or job opportunities. That said, internships are not mandatory. So if you're good at DSA and have a strong development skills, companies will value your abilities more than your traits. So speaking of DSA, mastering data success and algorithms can give you a huge advantage whether you're applying for internships or full-time jobs. Companies often use coding tests as part of the selection process. And if you haven't started yet, I recommend diving into Bind75 Lead Code Questions. We have an entire playlist dedicated with detailed explanation and the link is in the description of the video. And this is the playlist, this is just a DSA sheet we have. So basically these cover the most important patterns and problem types you would likely to encounter in coding interviews, helping you level up your skills and stand out. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you find these tips helpful for landing your next internship or job referral. Remember, whether you're applying to internship or reaching out on LinkedIn, persistence is key. 
drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your own experiences and don't forget to like subscribe and follow us on instagram for more tips and in internships coding and career growth so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one